What's up guys, Colin here. Another cool tool for you. I have got the straightaway in front of me. This is the Swiss Army Knife of fencing. This is gonna be your go-to for a lot of different things on the job site. Let's start out here by looking at the body of it. We've got these cutouts. What are these for? This is going to set all of your gate openings. Your four foot, five foot, and six foot opening can be set with this. This has a built-in tape measure so you can double check yourself. But on the starting side of this, you will put your first post and then you will line the next one up in either of these notches. We can also run all of our pickets with this. That is the main purpose of this. This is going to be your jig to set every picket to the correct height. We can put standard stockade style fences in here. And now with the new one, we can also do board on board. We can fit two picket widths in here and you can run shadow box. So the goal of this is this sits on top of your fence with our buddy picket. The straightaway sits on the other side like this. And now this is held up in place. You're able to put every one of your pickets and butt it up into here, knowing you're gonna be at the exact right height every single time. These colored marks are going to be a built-in spaced picket for you. This corresponds to a five and a half inch picket space. So your red is gonna be a three and a quarter, your orange is gonna be a three and a half, your blue will be three and a three quarter inch space approximately, and then your green will be four. But you were able to line the either left or right side picket up with this line and run the same side of that picket all the way down, matching up your marks to get that consistent space. But look, we got some more up here on top. We got some marks up here too. So you got a short mark and a long mark. The short mark is gonna be for a standard two inch space with a five and a half inch picket. This long mark is gonna be a standard board on board spacing with a five and a half inch picket. So no tapes, no need to measure anything. Line your same side of your picket up with this mark all the way down and you're ready to come back and cap and finish that board on board fence. We have also built in pre-marked locations to mark all of your wood posts. You can use this at the beginning of the job to mark where your mid rail, bottom rail, and your ground mark go on the fence. Lay this along the length of the post, draw your line, turn this thing 90 degrees, and now you've got a straight edge to trace eight posts at one time. Less than 30 seconds, all posts marked out for a job. So on the straightaway 2.0, we can do board on board and standard wood fences with this. So what we did is we've added an adjustable bolt down here on the end that's gonna allow you to set that depth when you're not running two fence boards at one time so that the straightaway will always hit the back side of the other picket. All right, so here's a key thing to look at, that chain link bolt. If I have it out past here, this will wanna kick back. So we want this chain link bolt behind that picket Right like that. Once you start, it's always behind the picket. But that first one, make sure you're behind the picket. When we bring that picket in, I like to lead with the top, hit the picket, and bump the bottom. Right there. It's a high-low pattern at the top. So it's high, low, shoulder. So grab the picket, we're gonna lead it in. I'm gonna touch the top, snap the bottom, raise it up, here a bump, raise the top. By popping that bottom, that's going to help you from getting out of level. Drop down. Ideally, that's what we're looking for. All right. Once we get to here, then we can slide this down. and repeat. 